Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and today we are over here at Cedar Point, Ohio to check out and stay in the Hotel Breakers Hotel which is their on-site hotel on the island itself which is home to many of the world's best roller coaster attractions yeah. and with me today we have got Adam Dirk, my mum and my dad as we check out the hotel, stay in a beautiful suite and do so so much more all for you guys over here and if you're completely staying make sure to like subscribe and comment down below as we will cover every single detail of this hotel from inside the room itself to the beach that surrounds it to all the restaurants lobby and so 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 much more so adam are you excited for your stay over here at hotel breakers oh, you know what i've literally wanted to come in now for so long and i mean just like the park itself you know but like i've always gone for so long and this hotel is amazing like of course the facade is amazing already but yeah i'm sure the interior is just gonna be as good you know it's an incredible hotel of course where you actually get a great view over lake Erie. i mean it's amazing like it literally looks like the sea it's crazy yeah i mean i still don't get how that's a lake but uh, I mean, who said that? Loads, but you know, it's true though, it's incredible. But, it yeah, really is. It's probably a hotel. And let's not get into that. So, we're going to start off today by heading into the lobby where we'll show you around where you check in and stuff. And then after that, we'll give you a full room tour, followed by us heading on all the facilities that this hotel has to offer and then a review of the entire hotel itself at the end of a visit. And that will all be time stamped within the video so you can check out your favourite bits. So, with no further ado, let's head into hotel breakers okay so here we now enter into the lobby via the beach side now there's two types to enter one you can see the doors right down there via the car park and the other one via the beach through there so whichever one you end up going on yeah. it is amazing but to start off with look at this hotel it is unbelievable a theme park hotel like this can have so so much and to start off with there is a Starbucks and there is a bar, so most people are already covered. However, it only gets better as you continue into the lobby area itself. As you've got a few lifts, the room we realise is very complicated to get to. Yes. <laughs> We've noticed that a bit of times as well. But this is the lobby area for this hotel. You can see it has this it's lovely incredible. charm towards it. It is absolutely amazing to look at it. Plus, You've then also got some amazing theme park references too around the room if you look at it. Like you can see they've got all the rides up there and you can go up in I'll show you. But it's got such a cool little lobby area that you can go and check in. And check-in was very, very efficient as well. Oh, yeah, really we arrived up there. What happens, if you, if you arrive before, before o'clock, when normal check-in is happening, what they do is they give you a card early and then they message you on your phone when you do a check-in. However, due to us being English, they have a different number than the majority of Americans. It was a little bit of complication around that. So we to go up at the end of the day, very quick, efficient, and very, very nice. And it instantly gave us our room, which we will show you in one sec. But here is a look down at the lobby right away. You can see he's got the check-in desk just down there. We've got some sofa and relaxing areas. You've got some really nice medieval, I don't know, medieval, it's not medieval, is it? <laughs> Victorian horses just around the corner and some seating areas and so much to do around this so area nice. itself. And I've heard as well that Snooty sometimes goes into this area as well <laughs> to get some photos, which is really, really awesome as well. Cool. Yeah. But initial reactions is unbelievable this place. Oh, it's so nice. And I mean, the things, as you were saying, like the posters around the side, you can see right now, of course, the Millennium Falls, the gear goes to the car. It's really nice, you know, it really does feel like a resort. And the thing we compare most to this is probably the Grand Florida Nova at the Walt Disney World Resort. Yeah, I um, agree. And you know what? what's nice about this is it doesn't feel like it, it's just a rip of it. It actually feels like a It's really got its nice own charm as well to it. And obviously, for me, the yeah. biggest draw already is the location. I think the location is yeah. amazing. If you want to go look at the beach or if you want to go to the theme park, whatever you want, you can have a location. We'll give you some tips and tricks about the best room to order in a little bit on yeah. about the view wise. Like, and it is quite confusing in that sense. Yeah, and if you're not going to stay at this hotel, or of course, I can't remember what it's called, but there's another like campsite sort of thing around the corner. Uh, if you're not going to stay on the island itself, it's pretty hard to get here. So yeah. I don't believe the park actually offers any bus services or anything like that. So you have to make your own way here. Um, and yeah, you can't walk, you can't cycle. So we thought it's just best to sort of Okay, you know yeah, exactly. We, we think it's always best to go and stay as close as you can to the park, obviously depending on your price budget as well, as the hotel is not cheap. You can actually rooms that we got. We got a surprise of mum and dad to get a nice room here, which is really nice of them. But it is not cheap at all. And you can see by the design here, it, it does come with a little bit of a hefty price tag. So if you are staying here, well, be aware of that. There are quite a lot of perks. So if you're like a season pass holder, you actually get a discount here. And I'm not sure how much percent it is, but you'll be able to check it out online. Also, as well as I was pointing out, is that if you're asking on site, you're actually early entry to the park, or of course, season pass holder, which is actually from 9 to 10. And you know, we, I mean, we actually used that this morning, 
you know what, it's actually pretty good. Like, you actually got more rides at that time. And you know, it's definitely worth staying here at this off course, take a break. Yeah, I do agree with you. So, what we'll do right now, we'll show you some clips from around the lobby, give you anything else information wise, if we notice anything as well around the lobby, and then we're going to head to our room to give you a room tour. And here we are inside of our room number 4576 and as it is a suite it is a lot bigger than your average room however there's also a size above this for an extended suite which you can also get. So as far as suites goes it's the lowest however it is still an absolutely awesome room and being surprised by mum and dad to have this room is absolutely incredible. So from the moment you enter into the room you can instantly see there is a lot of space for your luggage. You put the luggage over here there's also a safe and warning you in advance it is not got the biggest amount of room it's not kind of mine but that is basically the space in the safe so if you're looking for a lot of things to put in the safe probably not the best safe for you but then there's also some coat pegs like that we've got all of our hats and pillows down here as well so if you're staying for a longer time then it's definitely worth having everything inside of there in here you've got a main lounge area with all of the table and the sofas and the chairs as well as around here a little kitchen area I don't think flashy to be honest, I don't think it, how it has got a microwave just down there as well as a sink, a fridge and some little drawers down there to put everything in, it's where we kept our snacks over weekend but with a wide variety of options for food which we will head down and show you in one second there is no real need to have a microwave unless you're here for an extended time and want to have a little meal inside of a room instead but then if you continue round here, you'll also have the drawers, a TV, as well as the chair that went out earlier. Some air conditioning that is very cold, we have found out. It can get pretty cold over there with the air conditioning, as well as this little balcony area with a view. And look across here, this is absolutely stunning. You've got a view across the entire park. And as we said earlier, a little tip is to go and get the view of not the sea because if you ask for a sea view you get this view and we're lucky enough to get both of them yeah. but you get just like that and you're going to see the rides there for an enthusiast obviously for us that view is a lot better yeah. i mean look at that view you got all the rides like sky swinder you got gatekeeper and all the different attractions going off in the distance and of course at night time you can watch them at night but they don't go around at night so it's nice kind of middle of the day like we have now to film it when all the rides are in its motion and like that, and even down at the beach as well, which is a little bit quieter than it was earlier, but still mega busy. You've even got lots of little jet skis and stuff, which we'll show you later on. You've got a little poolside area, and so so much more. It is an unbelievable resort oh, around so here. Nice. And then if you head down here as well, you're then back in this room again, and then followed by the bedrooms. There's actually a sofa bed that does come out of this sofa here, which you can make and pretty much sleep six in here, really. So if you're in a big family, it's a perfect room as well. Or I think the extended room, you can even have another one of these rooms. So I'm not sure how many you can see there, but I know it's an awful lot. But inside the rooms itself, you've got the two beds with some awesome backboards of quartz screw. Then around here, you've also got another TV. And then that amazing view once again. Not a balcony this time, but a window's there, which is kind of... This is kind of here is like what the average room is like, maybe a bit extended outwards. So that's pretty awesome as well. You've got the TV. Again, we've got the beds here, an awesome teddy that Adam got from uh, Steel Vengeance <laughs> right down there. And then follow around here, you've got a giant bathroom which connects both from this way down here and here. Where you've got a little sink area, as well as some uh, drawers and me, hello guys. Followed by a giant bath, toilet and some awesome pictures as well throughout the room about all of the Cedar Fair history with Cedar Point as well as many other little references to the rides and attractions which is really really awesome but it's not only a room that offers so so much but the surrounding area as well and I'm so excited to show you that however nothing beats after a busy day at this thriving park or maybe in the beach or maybe even at the water park just down there being able to come back to this room and relax It is not only the room with a view over that this hotel has to offer because as you saw by the start of this video, this hotel is giant with everything from the hotel to the beach to everything around here to even the theme park itself. There is so much to do. But in terms of the hotel facilities, we've been over three pools, many gyms, 
as well as even a conference centre. We're going to head around them all right now, give you a quick whistle stop tour of every little part of this hotel that you can experience on your visit. So when the lift opens right away, we're going to head in and explore the facilities at Hotel Breakers. So we are just made it down from the lift and we are already lost. We're looking around here and there's so many different things around this hotel to explore. And I already can't find my way around. We're currently looking right now at the fitness suite just down here, as well as a little sitting area. There are plenty of these and the conference center just down here. But as we make our way around from those bits, now of course, we can't cover every single bit inside of there as well, but that is where we are located. You make it around towards the front side of the hotel, and this is where the car park is located. And there's not just one car park around here, but there's two. And for someone like Daddy's been driving up, was it easy to park here? Yeah, it's really easy. It's, it's funny because this car park here is one of the other side, and then the third one, I think it is. It was a bit tricky finding the space. You can see some of these people have parked not in space. <laughs> yeah, there is plenty of room. Um, I think the great place hotel, you see how close you are to the park. Yeah, exactly, even the car park says. It's not like Disney World, you know, where you've got a long walk. It's more like um, Disney California, those kind of places where you're, kind of, you're, you're staying right on it, um, which is great. You've got a few minute walk into the park, several entrances into the park as well from the hotel. Yeah, so you have to later as well. You have got a few other entrances that you can enter now. The park itself has got three entrances, one round the front, and they've got two from one of them down the side down there, as well as one from a hotel. So you can enter all of them where you're staying or whether you're taking the car or not. However, we personally suggest taking the one that is right outside of the exit of the hotel breakers or the front, depending on how you look at it, next to the car park just down there. You can get in, experience those rides that are near that entrance quicker than you can even through your entrance and maximize your time over here at the park which we'd always suggest. And in our travel vlogs, as well as our other vlogs, we do give many tips and tricks as well about how to maximize your time when visiting the parks over here. Well, the good news is if you go through the hotel entrance, obviously most people are going through the main entrance. So not only do you get your extra hour um, getting in, but obviously you're coming through a different entrance yeah, exactly. to most people. They're a quick, bit quieter, so it's exactly. really good. And if you want to show you all what side is from the other side, if you go and enter through here, which is where you'd probably enter from the start, even though we're in the, the beach way, when you're parking up and entering, you can enter by here. They have got valet services as well, as far as taking the little bags and stuff goes. However, we normally do it ourselves. But when you're entering from this side of the hotel, you're actually met instead by the reception as well as the shop, which is one of the only shops that is in the hotels over here at Cedar Point. And the merch is unbelievable, which we're going to show you right away as you enter through this door right now into the main part of the hotel if you head around here you can head down here into the lobby and see oh sorry and see this amazing shop right in here just down to the side you see where we are now here's the shop So yeah, as you saw in the shop, it offers so much merch. And of course the hotel itself has got some custom merch, which is absolutely awesome. As well as a few bits from the park. However, for a bigger selection, of course, head into the park, but for any custom hotel bits, and there's actually surprisingly quite a bit of hotel bits, head into that shop back there. You'll be able to get all the hotel merch that you want, as well as even a really cool ball ball, which we got the other day. However, back into we go in towards the lobby area, which we did show you earlier, this time from a different way, and it's where we get towards all the restaurants. So down here, you've got, oh, hello, the Perkins restaurant and bakery, which is the little family restaurant located down here. It's not currently open, I don't think. However, it has got some really awesome food for the entire family. Buffet style, I'm pretty sure it has got, as well as many other little bits for a more budgeted visit, whereas if you want to head a bit further down, you've got the Tomo Hibachi just down here. And as you saw when I did pass it earlier, these are one of the restaurants where they make it for you as you eat. So I've never been in one of these before, but they actually sit there and then cook up all the food, make it all while you're sitting there, which some people love, some people don't like. 
I haven't really got a preference on it, but I think it's pretty cool if you are going to be visiting for your first time. I want to have a little treat meal. And of course, if you don't want as much of a treat, you can go here, which is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Have at the moment when we head to the hotel, we're not currently eating at any of them. As we decided before one to nip up, grab some snacks, to save us a bit of money along the way. Um, in addition to this, as I showed you earlier, just now through here, you have also then got a surf lounge, which is again the bar over here at Hotel Breakers, as well as a Costa Coffee and we're sure not Costa Coffee, yeah, Starbucks in America. I always forget. It's Starbucks over here, as well as the Starbucks area facing on towards here, as well as one more restaurant which I will cover in a sec, or I'll show you a clip of, which is a little ice cream parlor just located next to our room at the bottom, where you can pick up ice creams, bring them onto the beach, and experience that. However, I think it is now time to head to the many pools of this hotel, as not only have they got an absolutely amazing beach over here, as you can just see down there, with so many activities, some as I showed you earlier as well windsurfing to boating to jet skiing to all of that stuff they have got a lot lot more including as well as a point right now the fire pits that stretch along these two ends as well as tgi friday i keep forgetting my chin we need to look at the map as well in a sec otherwise there's been a tgi restaurant just down there i love a little ice cream bar down there and so so much more just outside of the hotel itself but let's now go and have a look at the pool that this hotel has to offer After a lot of looking around, we have finally discovered one of the many pools that are over here at the hotel. And I don't want to film a lot inside the pool because I feel there's something about that. However, just behind me, if you head into the park on a cold day, then take a quick look at this pool over here behind me right now. This is the indoor pool located over at Hotel Breakers, where you can basically enjoy the same facilities, just instead of being outside, you can enjoy it from the inside. And of course, here is right where TGI's is. However, if you continue outside here, there's not only just one pool located at this hotel, there's actually three, with the other ones being just down that side and another one being just down this side. And it really shows how big of a hotel this place really is. If you've been able to experience all these many, 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 many facilities from the comfort of your hotel. And just down here, you can also see the slides. This is not actually from the hotel itself, but actually from the surrounding water park that Cedar also has to offer, as well as the beach, which again, has got some facilities from. However, I'm not gonna cover all of that in this video today, as that is part of the beach, and I'll be covering it in a separate video on the channel shortly. But trust me when I say, you can spend an entire week at this hotel alone, experiencing all of that that has to offer and so, so much more on the Erie front. So it's not just a theme party to point, it is a place for the entire family to join. One thing we have noticed when heading into the parks itself is the large variety of facilities that this place has really got to offer for everyone over here. And I could honestly spend so much more longer than we have. We only have three days over here, two nights in the hotel. But wow, there is an awful lot here, including this bit, uh, pool right down here, with all the different facilities just down there. And then if you continue away down here, you're then also gonna head down to the other pool, which is just around the corner down here as we make our way down to the other side. So we'll head down there right away. And here anyway, here's the quick pool, and we'll head down to the other side right now. And finally, we have made it to our final pools, and one just down there is the kids' pool. And again, I'm not gonna film an awful lot of that for obvious reasons, but there are many slides and activities in that pool for all the kids and then there's another one of the exact same types of pool that's the other side just down here with also a hot tub and even though there are like three different types of pools over here at the hotel as you can see by this this is actually when the kids are back at school as well i think some haven't gone back fully yet but also have and it's absolutely packed i mean look at it it's just unbelievable this place and filming it is so difficult because as you can see they've obviously extended the hotel many times so you've got a little over here a little over here a little over here and i'm trying to show you as much as i can over here and i'm still missing out but i think oh where's the arcade now where's all this bits and i'll try to cover as much as i can within this video but i do apologize if it is not as smooth and fluent as i normally film these videos like normal because this place is so ginormous the whole 
island just goes on for ages and stuff like our room is so different from the little bits down there like the lakeside pavilion is that part of the hotel i don't know as well as our room which is just down the corner down here as well as the thing so i'll try covering as much as i can and i hope you have enjoyed what we have done so far but if not we have done as much as we can right now and here we are now as dad just pointed out very clearly the ice cream parlor in our hotel the Jolly's ice cream, where you can go and pick up your favourite ice creams, chill out in the sun, and luckily, and if you come to like a day like today and not in the freezing, eerie winter, chill out and relax. One thing that I love about this hotel and Cedar Point in general is the nightlife. And when the park does close in the evening, that does not mean it is coming to an end. And especially if you are staying within hotel breakers, it is definitely not. As despite the room staying the exact same, just with some lovely lights being put on. And fun fact, actually no lights on the roof, it's all like lights, like lanterns and it stuff. It's quite nice though, it's quite yeah. perfect, right? It is well well. But what is so amazing about it is the view from the balcony as across here the park has closed but all the rides are there, you've got that amazing light in fact across the attraction of our ravens. So I mean, yeah you can point them out. Yeah, Raptor uh, over there and then Bar the Courts beyond that. Yeah, and they're all lit up, they look absolutely amazing yeah. and so, so random. And I mean, this is probably the perfect view. I mean, like, you can't have used down the side of just Topful Jankster and a couple more, but I'd say this is probably the perfect view because obviously you get to the main mid where you get to see like basically the central coasters. Like, you get to see all like all BMs really. I think you may have to see Ruger as well, but yeah, you get to see all BMs. I didn't see that. Yeah, and actually it's Tormo Beach as well. It might be worth maybe nipping out there in a sec and being able to film me outside because it does like, a lot of stuff going on there and I have heard that there is a sort of party thing going on over there. And that does, I knew that as well, it does stop at 11 o'clock. Yeah, it does. Meaning that if you are staying in the hotel, and I think this is a special event as well, we'll have yeah. to go and have a look. It runs sometime in August, I think, so just for, for a yeah, so, yeah. But if you if there's stuff going on all the time and stuff, it does stop so you can get out of sleep at a normal time without the music going on. But to be honest, the doors are shut anyway, yeah. you cannot hear. But I thought, I have to go and show you this, the outside of Cedar Point at night, because it really is a view that not many hotels offers, and what makes this day in particular so worth staying at. And, well, <laughs> words literally cannot describe it, and camera does not do it justice. Look at this, look at the beach, look at the rides, look at the little bar area. Oh, it's amazing, guys. And here we are outside of Hotel Breakers in the night and despite me not going to make a video from outside of it during the night time as we walk back from Cedar Point in the evening and looking at this beautiful hotel I thought I've got to show some clips from the front and as you mentioned earlier this busy beach just became a lot quieter down here you could just about see below uh, Lake Erie in the distance but wow at night this hotel really shines with everyone leaving everyone going back in their car to return you can really feel as if you're kind of on a private island up here with all the pools remaining open and i do want to mention as well with the pools as well as we mentioned earlier when you do enter the hotel you do get a little band which you can use to act as a pool so if you're going here like on a beach like normally you can't go in the pool unless you are staying at hotel breakers i want to make that very clear as well because they so make sure we got in, you get this red band you get for the entire trip, which basically gives you access into the pool so the lifeguards know that that is you in here. But wow, the park at night is stunning. Right now over in August, they've got this special party thing going on until half 10. I think it's called Cedar Point Nights or something where basically it's just an extra little added bonus for hotel guests. So when you do visit the hotel, you don't know, maybe it's a special one for you as well. You're but okay. they've got lots of different things on. And also I want to point out just down there as well, while I zoom in, I knew I forgot something that pointed out to me. They have also got some arcades and personally, not a giant fan of arcades. I do think that they're literally in one of the most amazing places on earth. For us also we travel 20 hours to get up here, including the 10 hour plane journey, 10 hour car journey. So it's been a long time. But the arcade is not a sort of thing I'd be willing to when you've got the best coasters, the best theme, one of the best hotels in the world. So personally, I'd enjoy more of the atmosphere around here, the bar, and these five bits, which is perfect time now, and now on. So this is the hotel at night, hotel breakers outside. The inside is obviously the same because it's just a set of windows. 
the Lukua Hotel come to life over here at night with all the fire pits on, people out here, weather is nice oh, and it's very very different isn't it from the day outside of it. Oh it is, I mean I just sort of prefer it to be honest, like it's actually quite, go it feels much more lively, drink. you know it definitely yeah, like, has a better atmosphere yeah. over here, like of course at the resort and you know I don't know, it just feels much nicer than night. But I know. The day feels lovely. Okay, the day feels lovely, but night is when it comes to night. Especially if it's like during, I don't know if there's any times where it gets night later on, is there here, Adam? Sorry? The times when it comes night later on. Uh, I don't know. Really, but... Oh, if there is anyway, it means that you can go and enjoy things when everyone else leaves, because the park is just coked as well. So it's all empty, yeah. Dad. You can play your volleyball in the evening, got like light strips going down here. It is really, really, really awesome. And so. I think with that being shown outside, this is the main bit, there's the kiddie pool again, which I can now show you as no one is in his little peak, it's just down there, lots of little slides and everything, as well as the other pool down there, which I think is one big pool really. But there you go, looking at all this music fest going on, look at all the music playing, such a nice atmosphere. Let's head back into the room and give our final room review of Hotel Breaker, which is sad thinking that has so many fun nights here. But it is coming to the end, unfortunately, outside of the hotel. Hotel Breakers, what can I say? That is one of the great hotel stays that we have ever been in. The beds for starters that night were very comfortable. We had a full night's sleep, there was no real noise in the background. In the morning, the best noise was the roller coasters testing, which you could see from our bedroom window, but the night's sleep was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good, like, I mean, honestly, hotel breakers, like, again, I've been on time for so long, and to finally be staying actually on this island of Cedar Point is pretty incredible. And also, as well as things, it is expensive, but if you don't stay here or the other one, it's Lighthouse Point, if you don't stay at any of these two hotels, you sort of have to get your way to the uh, like island itself and that's incredibly hard to get here like you have to take a bus or even a car so they're the only two ways you can get here you can't even walk like you can't cycle you can't do anything like that so you just feel like like location purposes like it's perfect. yeah and that's, that's amazing and as far as the hotel goes i haven't said earlier the biggest draw to this hotel is the fact of where it is being literally located there and it's just been like a dead towards the park. It is amazing like that. And our car is actually closer now to the park than it is to the hotel itself, which is bonkers to think about when it's in the hotel car park. But with that amazing view just where you get from the night, oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And as far as the price goes, you know how roughly that was? It's about, it's about 300 pounds a night, something like that. I don't know, but for a hassle of having to drive in as well, and we're also thinking how even- Doesn't include tickets. Even how about the petrol price to get over here from the island, it's like a lot of little things can count. It's not about that. Plus, obviously, the luxury of being able to stay on the island itself, have this quick walk that we're heading down right now towards the park. It really, really is amazing. And overall, I've got to say that the whole stay has just been spotless. The staff has been free from where we entered, the room is obviously spotless. Everything has been absolutely amazing, and I've pretty much got no doubts to say about it. So, with all that said, I hope you have enjoyed the tour of Hotel Breakers over here at Cedar Point. And if you have, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below as we've got so many more videos on the channel, including, of course, some day vlogs from over here at Cedar Point, as well as many, many more coming up from our American road trip. But with all that said, there's only one final thing to say. That is it from me, Tom Derrick from Theme Parks Hosting. And we've just stayed at Hotel Breakers for our final night. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye from Hotel Breakers.